feel like I should tell you our story. The story of me and how I met Kesha. A few months ago, I used to live in a shelter known as the Covenant House. Um, after a few days of me living there, they gave me a temporary job working at the PNC Theater. So, it was kind of hot, you know, working over there, being a part-time worker. They gave me free food, they gave me free drinks, then you got free snacks, whatever you wanted. I was, I was a hunger. You know, like Peter Griffin, I was, but I was doing it with Red Bull, so I was basically like, Red Bull, get your Red Bull here, get your Red Bull here. So, after about maybe an hour or so, they started to notice to call me the Red Bull guy because after a while I couldn't sell Red Bull. Because of the fact that I wasn't having a good sales pitch. So, what I started to do was I started to basically make up an exaggerated story. Have you ever seen Twilight yet? You know how they got through the whole movie, man? They got through the whole movie by drinking Red Bull, Red Bull. It doesn't only give you wings, man. It gives you sparkling powers just like the vampires. Yeah, yeah, just like the vampires. Maybe after, after three hours, the concert started. So everybody goes to the concert hall. And our job was to walk quickly through the concert hall. We had five minutes between every break to walk through the concert hall and to sell what we had to sell to get out. So what happened was I was walking through the concert hall and I didn't know that my five minutes was up. So the concert had started. So I was stuck in the middle of the concert and I couldn't leave. So what happened was they told me to stay inside the concert hall. So. I was staying inside the concert hall, and what happened was, I started to dance. I'm talking pedicure on our toes, toes, trying on all our clothes, clothes, boys blowing up our phones, phones. Drop top and playing our favorite CDs, pulling up to the parties, trying to get a little bit tipsy. Don't stop me, get pop, DJ Blumas. So, Tessa was singing her song. After all of that, um, I had to basically dance to get my way out, and at the same time I was on a rebel. So again, after the concert was done, I was walking back to hand in my bag and my rebel that I had to sold. So I was coming back, and a white limo pulls up beside me, and she comes out, and she's like, can I have a Red Bull for free? I'm like, um, well, my boss, she said we had to bring in exact change, you know, and like, I don't have the money to buy a $8 Red Bull, so, sorry, can't do it. She was like, well, I mean, I can pay for it if you want me to. I'm like, mm, yeah, but your family would probably the one she was like, well, we won't say nothing. And she came over to me, and she came in close, and she reached in my bag, and she took out the Red Bull, and she slipped the money in my pocket and said, no one knows that we did this, and she walked away. And I'm like, no one knows that we did this. Then, and I tell you, yo, she smiled at me, like, fresh cut spring flowers, Spoon and cloth at that one book with a hint of lemon. No lie. So, after that, you know, I ended up walking back to my job and counting the money that I was supposed to get in. And she actually gave me $200 over the price that I needed. And I gotta say, that was like the best thing of my life, yo. Sadly, I don't get the PNC anymore because after a few months, they found out that. The people that we all got hired with from the shelter was stealing. So, best job I ever had. Down the drain. So, Tesha, thank you for your love. And you probably don't know me. I didn't much game here back then, but still, thank you for your love. And